Then buckle up as the team takes on the Knight Rider. I just hope the car still works when I get my turn. Adam and Jamie ask, can you ramp it up on the highway? And finally. But before all that, it's time to get kitted out with another myth. Okay, so what do we got now? Well, I've got a big rig myth of my own. Have you ever seen the show from the early 80s called Knight Rider? Yeah, wasn't the car intelligent or something? It was. Do you remember how that car came in for repairs? Yeah, he drove it right up into the back of a big rig. At speed. Yeah. I want to know if that's really possible, or if when your 60 mile an hour drive wheel hits that ramp, boo, launches you right into the container. Well, wear your seatbelt. <laughs> I will. Before the Hoff was the Hoff, he was the Knight Rider. And his ride? Well, this four-wheeled black beauty was smarter than your average car. And if it needed running repairs, there was the famous high-speed entry into the team's mobile HQ. But in real life, once you hit the ramp, wouldn't you suddenly accelerate and catapult yourself through the cabin? You know, obviously we're going to go full scale, but I think we ought to go small scale first. Let's get, get like an RC car and a, a running treadmill and just do the whole experiment in miniature first. Okay. Yep, it's the patented Mythbuster bench test. In this setup, Adam builds the scaled down remote control car. Yeah, look at that. And Jamie vandalizes a treadmill to replicate the rolling surface of the highway. Ingenious. The treadmill here represents the road surface. We have a miniature representation of a truck. We have a miniature car. So the main thing that we're looking for here is what happens when the car makes a transition fully from the road surface onto the truck. If it were to do something like a wheelie or, or just spin out of control, uh, not get traction or, or something weird like that. As J.D. said, the crucial moment is when the tires of the car get traction on the ramp. At that point, both vehicles are traveling at much the same velocity. But once it hits the ramp, the car is now moving at speed, and in comparison, the truck is stationary. And the theory is, without a special effects department, wouldn't that cause it to accelerate out of control? But that's just the theory. How about the practice? You ready? Yeah. There you go. No need for practice. In a break with Mythbuster tradition, there was first time success with a small scale test. We've been thinking that the moment those back wheels traveling at this speed hit this ramp, that car goes fa -ching. The high speed camera confirms there's no fa -ching factor. The RC car slid into the trailer as smooth as you like. And even without brakes, its entry was slow enough to prevent a serious fender bender with the back wall of the big rig. So, I don't know about you, but the small-scale experiment really gave me a lot of confidence that this might actually be possible. Yeah, and when you think about it, you know, the car's got a lot of inertia, and for this to crash into the back of the semi, it'd have to all of a sudden be going, you know, twice as fast as it was. It's got to really accelerate. Well, I mean, the only thing for us to do now is to go full-scale. Yep. Let's get to building a ramp. Okay. Still to come. That's a nice maneuver. Knight Rider goes full scale. Dude, that was scary. But first...